That was a thing Martha Argerich did quite well in concert. Yeah. Otherwise I don't like her too much. But uh, that's a lot of song. Their fingers are very fast, but uh, not really no heart. Yeah. And and she says, well, I, I have to play the piano. I don't know what I would better to do. That's the only reason why I play the piano. What could I do better? That she could become a good housekeeper. Yeah, she doesn't like to play. But you yeah. heard those urchins, yeah, Richter was good. Richter was good, yes. He was good, yeah. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he did. Um, Ashkenazi, I don't know. He was good. He, he was, was good. good. I think he, Barnbaum is teaching him, and that's, that's his problem. Barnbaum says, you know, Vladimir, you have to think over the composition. And now he gets to start to thinking. And I remember half a year ago in Switzerland, he explained to me the C minor concerto of Mozart, and he explained every note, and it was half an hour that he, he explained it to me, and he, he saw the, the, the notes and all. And finally he played it with orchestra in the tonhalle, and I didn't like it. It was so heavy. The I don't I know what... he thinks too much. Yeah, now. yeah. But I think it's... See, we told you. I was told you. I never uh, talked to you. I said, no, Ashkenazi was wonderful. When he first came, he was instinctively... Mm, he yes. had a heart, a beautiful tone, was a beautiful artist. And then he thought... That maybe it was not important enough. He started to think. Yes. And believe me, he has nothing to think about. Exactly, time. exactly. Except um, spontaneity. He's not such a culture musician. He's not a, such a culture musician. Mm -hmm. And the more he thinks, the less he finds out because there's nothing inside. You know, when I was, <laughs> when I was 14, uh, 13, 15, I was going not with Paris and Fugue and Bach, but I was going with Gotterdam on one of my pillows. Mm -hmm. I knew Gotterdam, I knew Strauss music, I knew, I knew all the music, you know. I was interested in music. I wanted to be a composer. Mm -hmm. So I knew the, I know music quite well. Mm -hmm. If I play a, a little intermezzo of Brahms, I know all Brahms and, and trios and quartets and four symphony and requiem, everything. Mm -hmm. uh, you can you have to know the composer mm -hmm. in order to play one little piece. You mm -hmm. cannot play like now people. They, they, they prepare, the, I don't know, the impromptu of Chopin, but they don't know <laughs> 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 anything, yes, else, anything yeah. else of Chopin. Yes. But I think too that Ashkenazi is, is too much thinking over the things and, and he gets less less technique. That's the, that's his problem. And also I He's think less technique. He, he had wonderful things. He had, he had. He lost them. Yes, he had, he had. I cannot explain why, but uh, maybe it's the influence of Daniel Barnboy, who is the great philosopher of the pianists. I don't understand what it means intellectual pianist. That's for me that I will never <laughs> understand. <laughs> never. <laughs> for me the intellect is the is the is the not the guide but the control. Mm -hmm. Control of what you are doing. Mm -hmm. The brain is the control. Mm -hmm. But that's why the intellect to understand the music. Yeah, what that the means not to do one. too much and not to do too little. Mm -hmm. That is brain, mm. but you have to, that has to take care of here. Yes, yes. yes. For mm. that you have your brain. Mm. Mm. And you have to be intelligent to know you do too much, you do too little, and then do, sometimes you do more, sometimes you do less, and that's mm. your artist, I mean, not every day the same. Mm. Mm. Chopin said that he was teaching. In his letter he said that when my pupils go and the players, they want to imitate me, I send them home because I want them to bring me something of their own. Mm -hmm. Because I never play twice the same, my own pieces. Mm -hmm. See, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I think that, uh, I never heard Barnbaum, but I think Ashkenazi analyzes not the note, mm -hmm. and it doesn't analyze the opus as a whole. Yeah, the context. 
Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm-hmm. Baby. See? Mm-hmm. And how how Sirkin is in the early? Did you like him? I, I used to like him, yes, in the early re- chamber music records that, that I liked mostly, but now I heard, I, I have reviewed the record of the B flat minor sonata of Schubert, oh. and I don't like it. But I told Madame Horowitz, he's my best friend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when I told Madame Horowitz, I heard him, it's, it's, I don't believe it. You see, it's nothing. Nothing. Just nothing. <laughs> mm-hmm. They did not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, we heard the It's terrible. I think in December he had this uh, anniversary concert in Carnegie Hall. Yeah. I didn't. I haven't yet heard the the, the record. You see, in 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 in, in music of Mozart, when he puts six eights and he put andante, you have to count in two, yeah. not in six. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, it is impossible. Mm-hmm. And he has that, that uh, I think it's from Bush or from Germany, I don't know. He counts on six. So, and that means he played on the uh, uh, He played that divine. I haven't heard it. You cannot do it anymore. It's completely different. <laughs> Why didn't you have made a record of that I, uh, rondo? But you see, you said something uh, very true when you said, I like, um, I don't take me, but I like uh, Sirkin when he used to play chamber music. Mm-hmm. And he was very good. Mm-hmm. But then when he started to be a soloist, as you said, in the beginning, he was accompanying himself. Mm-hmm. The company himself. Now, no, I don't want to talk about my colleagues. You know, shall I, I, sh- shall I put it out? No, don't talk about my colleagues because I like him. He's mm-hmm. my good no, friend. I think he's very people. He's a wonderful person, and he's not young now. So, mm-hmm. don't, don't, don't please don't mm-hmm. mention him. Sure, sure. Not about colleagues. Now they ask me even from Russia to talk about Victor. I said I never talk about mm-hmm. my colleagues. Mm-hmm. That's so don't put it there. I talk mm. for you. I, I put it out. Friendly. Mm. You cut sure. out anything I talk about mm. Ashkenazi, about mm. everybody. Mm. No, no, I don't want it. No, I no. promise. I think, right. I think he's right. That is what no, we... I don't want because, you see, I, I'm in the high echelon. If I, I, It's not my way. If somebody plays better and well, I'm the happiest man in the world. Mm. No, really. But it's me. better for music to have a lot of good dancing. Of course. Of In course. general. Mm-hmm. For sure. Mm-hmm. If you have somebody like this and that mood, mm-hmm. it's not good for the music mm-hmm. in general because I thought people don't do only one concert a year. Mm-hmm. They have to do many concerts. But I have a personal question. Uh, of course, not. Uh, did you ever hear uh, Zifra playing Liszt? No. Never? No. Who? Mm-hmm. But he was he was Tiffer, that was the, oh, the Tiffer, yes. genius of France. I knew the name. He said the second part of it, I remember. Yeah, but I don't know, but mm-hmm. he's not, I don't know. Mm-hmm. He's good. What he's you are the king and he's the prince. <laughs> he's the prince? Mm-hmm. And you are the king. But he's still good? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's still now? Mm-hmm. Still now. Mm-hmm. Oh. Is that the king of America? Well, he's a very strange person because he's he is completely afraid of everything. Well, I, I know him quite well, and, and he's pathologic in a, in pathologic. Yeah, yes, in, in some ways. And he's so in, uh, afraid and insecure of everything, 
and now he almost almost plays only in France and, and in Switzerland too, Italy, but he never came to, to the USA and sometimes he plays in Japan. But he has, has very bad managers and and his wife manages him but not quite but good, well. Good finger. Yes, extremely well. It's not only the fingers, it's al also the temper. And he played now for a second time all the rhapsodies of Liszt. And there is something incredible in it, I, I must admit it. <laughs> but, uh, and he had a tremendous success at least 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. How yes. old is he? Uh, about 58. 58? 58. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We had here a list player, Bolet. Bolet, yes. He's mm -hmm. not bad. No, he's not bad. He's a good, good, good finger. But sometimes he's heavy. He heavy. has no brilliance. Mm -hmm. Exactly. No yes. brilliance. Yes. Too heavy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's too big. <laughs> <laughs> He's a boxer in, in some some kind. Mm -hmm. And who is the more um, a dishonor Serkin is, is very tough. Peter Serkin, yeah. yes, he, he made some nice records and I think he, he will he will do it better and mm -hmm. better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I think his first record of the Goldberg Variations isn't very no, good. No, it's not good, first one, but now he's progressing. Mm -hmm. He went away from the family, mm -hmm. and he's doing, he play Messiaen, very mm -hmm. good, he mm -hmm. play Messiaen. French music, yes. start to play. Start to play Beethoven. He yeah. wants to play Chopin, yes, yes, mm -hmm. he wants to get away from that. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I admire also very Glenn Gould. Yeah, he was very talented. Mm -hmm. The big article about Stokowski, I never, and the last hundred times, tremendous. I never, he writes well. Yes, he writes well. He he writes. Mm -hmm. But who is another pathological absolutely, case? Absolutely, absolutely. You know what I will take? Mm -hmm. Who? I don't know. No, he told them. No, no, no one know. pianist who is a really fantastic pianist, called Aloof. But oh. wonderful pianist, but we are absolutely cuckoo. It's Michelangelo. Yes, Michelangelo, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I know him a little bit, and he's very, very strange and difficult. He's very really strange. Absolutely. Absolutely. He should play three days before we left to New York, and. You can't. He had to play in March. Can't. Mm. But he played in Europe, he can't too. Well, I must say, maybe I was lucky, but I heard him ten times. No. Ah, you heard it very much. Yes. Oh, he has a very good play. Yes. Uh, well, it depends. It, it's strange. Always, if I uh, am glad to hear him and I'm nervous to hear him, he plays not well. And always, if I think, oh, that cold man, come on, let's go. And then I, I go to the concert and it's fantastic. Strange. Always double crossed. <laughs> uh, last year he played, uh, first he played. Uh, Beethoven, Opus 111. Not well. He was so cold. As but the trills was good. The trills was good, yes. Yeah. But without heart, if he were studying it, right. And then he played four ballads, Opus 10 of Brahms. A miracle. A miracle of sound. Very yes. beautiful sound. Yes, yes. And then he played uh, the second book. Maybe she plays well. The 